Hello and welcome to Work and Organization Psychology with Gerhard Orbert, the only psychology podcast in the world in 21 languages with a German accent. If you are a student or a professional, this podcast helps you refresh your knowledge in weekly servings of no more than five minutes. I teach psychology in Southeastern Europe and work as a consultant for more than 14 years already. I'm not an expert in English though. Of course you have already understood this. Please be patient with me, but I promise I'll get better with each new episode. Today we'll talk about the expectancy value theory of motivation. The theory proposed by Victor Vroom has three factors that determine whether a person will be motivated to act or not. The three factors are expectancy, instrumentality and balance. Expectancy is the degree to which a person's effort is likely to lead to a particular level of performance. Instrumentality is the probability that this level of performance will lead to certain outcomes. Valence is the level of desirability of those outcomes. The theory expects that all three factors will be multiplied. If one factor is zero, the level of motivation will be zero. An example will help to illustrate these three factors. An international company offers its employees a free German language course. Employees can attend lessons during the work time. Their tasks will be reduced accordingly so that less work time will not lead to more intense work in the remaining time. As a motivation factor, the 10 best participants will be promoted into a position where they will have regular contact with business partners in Germany. They will have frequent opportunities to fly to Germany as part of business trips. Now the company expects that everybody will be enthusiastic and will participate with maximum effort. In reality this will not be the case. Every employee will calculate in his head the equation above. Someone would love to obtain the promised privileges but he or she does not believe that he or she will be able to reach the necessary level of German. I'm just not gifted for languages. Someone wants the outcome and is convinced that he or she will attain the necessary level. However, he or she does not believe it is possible to land among the best 10. I always had bad luck in competitions or I'm sure the 10 winners have already previously been selected by the managers. And still, someone may believe in his chances of obtaining the outcomes, but does not care about them. I don't like Germany and Germans. If it would be Japanese and Japan, I would start learning immediately. I don't want to change into a position where I need to travel often and leave my family alone. According to meta-analysis, the model is better in predicting attitudes than actual behavior. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Please subscribe to my channel and send me questions and comments. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.